hello again friends welcome back to my channel god bless you so much for clicking on the video again today to hear what the lord would have us know my name is sharon today this word is coming to somebody god is about doing a very big thing in your life god is about doing a great thing in your life god is preparing you basically for something big and uh, what would that be i'm first going to give this illustration of um, certain experiences you have been receiving or you have been undergoing or you have been noticing around you or in you um, a whole lot of persons some of us myself inclusive um, there was a time in my life where I just noticed that I find it very very comfortable being secluded I find it very comfortable when i mean secluded right now i'm not talking about a depressed state no i'm not talking about a state of health that is unhealthy for somebody i'm just talking about that situation where you find yourself liking to be alone most of the time you just see yourself locked up inside the house or oh, most often than not it's not necessarily because you're doing anything that important but you just like being alone yes at that point that time i didn't understand what it was i didn't understand it i just felt why am i always alone people tell me i'm always alone i noticed i'm always alone but i just couldn't put my finger on what it was or why i do that but I always see myself being alone. And um, I kind of began to listen to some other persons too who have similar experiences, who went through similar journeys or experiences also, as I said. And then um, they began to talk about um, how God began to draw them out from the crowd or began to separate them from certain things that they used to be around or they used to love to be around. And um, in time, in time, they began to flow into the things God would have them know and do. And um, this word is just to encourage this one person who suddenly feels like they are being secluded and people are getting worried for you that, um, are you sure you are okay? Are you sure you are fine? Are you sure? Why are you, why are you always alone? Why do you just want to be alone? Yes, it's not the doing of yours. It's not your own making. Just as at the time I was in that state, even now I'm still there, I hardly really, really mix up with a whole lot of, I hardly mix up. I just find my own company very comfortable. Not because I am depressed, not because I am in any way um, going through any challenge that that is abnormal. Yeah, I just find myself being alone. And eventually I began to love it. It wasn't so much of a concern to me. Initially it was, but it wasn't so much of a concern to me anymore. I began to love it. I began to just stay there. And in time, God began to reveal things to me. Not like he wouldn't have been able to reveal it either way or other way, but God craves your attention. God desires that you pay attention to um, certain things. Um, and such things cannot, most often than not, cannot be done in the place of crowd or noise this is just my experience mind you your experience might be different this is just my experience and um, some persons also that i have listened to or heard from or talked with who went through certain seasons of their life where the spirit just draws them away from all the noise around yes you still talk to people you mingle with people but not as often as you used to not as often as you used to, and they are getting worried for you that you might be in problem. No, you are not in any problem. As long as it's not depression, I'm not talking of depression today, I'm talking about separation. The Holy Spirit on his own draws you out to separate and eventually begins to show you the things he wants you to know pertaining to where he's taking you. Yes, if you are in that category, this word is for you today. Do not be afraid. Now that you, you are now aware that this is the spirit drawing you away from the noise around you or from things that doesn't really count, 
Yes, now begin to pay more attention and begin to ask, Lord, speak, your servant, hear it. I think that is now the next best thing to do so that you can use those times to begin to get closer to God, hear more of God, know the things he wants you to do, know the steps he wants you to take. Yes, because at that point, he begins to open up information to you that you ordinarily will not hear when you are so attached or distracted by the crowd or the happenings around you yes now he's got your attention and he will begin to pass those information so be attentive be attentive god is about doing a big thing with you something massive something big he's about to is pre preparing you for that big thing that he wants to do with you so pay attention pay attention and may the grace of God keep you. This word came to me um, from my experience also, and then um, from the word of God um, that says in Matthew 4, 1, that then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So if the, if the Spirit of the Lord could lead Jesus into the wilderness, the Spirit of the Lord could as well lead us to the places he wants us to be, where he can get to us, where he can speak to us, of course, he can speak at any time, at any point, but your your location sometimes, not all the time, can hinder you from hearing because you can be jamming um, some, you can be in the midst of some people jamming some kind of lifestyle, you understand, and really, really get clarity on certain things. So, as I said, if you are that few or that person, that finds yourself secluded all the time and as i said it's not all the time it's not as if you're even reading the bible it's not as if you're doing any something dramatic for the lord there you just find yourself there just sitting alone sometimes or just loving it what i mean now is loving it you just stay there when people come to even call you up it's to you it, it looks like distraction yes yes i've been there and people were worried for me that they, th they thought something was wrong with me. Nothing was wrong with me. At the end of the day, I was so fine. I was really, really fine. And eventually, I loved it. I so loved it. And later into this whole process, I began to get drawn into knowing more of God, doing the things of God, hearing God. Yes, that was part of how I could, I could discern part of it mind you god speaks in different ways but in that quiet state was part of where i could now discern when god was speaking to me and what he needed me to do so so this one person god is preparing for something big that place you have found yourself now is your place of preparation so take it seriously take it very very seriously and may the lord help you in the mighty name of jesus god bless you friends for coming again to my video and i pray this word makes you well take it back to god in prayer do not go sitting alone depressed and thinking that is what i'm talking about no it's not i'm talking about when the holy spirit is drawing you away to put you in that place where he can reach you and you can begin to know him more learn about him and walk the journey he has prepared for you. God bless you so much, friends. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.